it's CC here, and we're back with movie review Nebraska, a 2013 American comedy drama road film directed by Alexander Payne. And if you don't know who Alexander Payne is, the last movie he directed was Descendants, you know, starring George Clooney sort of thing. So this film stars Bruce Dern, Will Ford, June Squibb, and Saul Goodman. Wait, Bob Odenkirk. So, yeah, this movie has a bigger cast, but these are the most essential characters. So this movie actually was nominated for six Oscars. So it was nominated for Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, Best Supporting Actress, Best Original Screenplay, and Best Cinematography. And it didn't win anything. Which is somewhat of a bummer, but I mean, it's cool that they got nominated. I would totally say that. Best Supporting Actress was the biggest contender here. But June Squibb was against 12 Years of Slave. You, you have no chance, really, pretty much. So, what is this movie about? So basically, it's about Bruce Dern playing a pretty old guy who thinks he won millions of dollars because of a, you know, book sort of thing that says, you won a million dollars, please send this in and tell us what books you're gonna buy next sort of thing and because of that he thinks that he won and he's gonna walk two states from Montana to Nebraska Lincoln to collect his one million sweepstakes prize that he think that he won obviously everyone else in the family is like you're nuts we're not gonna care about you but in the end Will Ford plays his youngest son who is David agrees to go with him and brings him to Nebraska. And that's pretty much the entire story. So, what did I like about this movie? First off, if you didn't know, this movie is in black and white, and I sort of wonder why it was like that, but after watching the movie, I realized, in my terms, I have no idea why the director did what he did, but it, it really brings that nostalgia factor that Bruce Dern plays a really old dude, and I think that black and white connects well in, in the sense where how he's feeling in his character, as he's just like, <sighs> like there's no contrast there's no vibrancy in his life that he's just like this is what I'm gonna do and static and I'm totally fine with it and I really enjoy that vibe because at first I was like what this is black and white oh man I wanted a color movie but I think the, if there was ever a color version this movie would totally feel different like it, it wouldn't have that big of an impact as you can't connect as easy. I would say the black and whiteness helps connecting with Woody's character. And it's just, yeah, like like the black and whiteness helps. And if it was in color, I would say that it contrasts too much to how he feels about his life. And all in all, I really liked the act acting in this film. Um, Will Ford, I can't believe he's MacGruber, or he was in MacGruber, but he plays a pretty awesome youngest son who's just really there to try to support his dad, despite that his dad is such a pain and June Scrib, Skib, Skib plays a real awesome wife and she is hilarious to watch and and, and I really liked her dialogue in this film um, Saul Goodman needed more lines but I really love the dynamic of the family because I mean when you start off it's just Bruce by himself and then he collects on David to his trip and then in the end, it's like this whole family thing where they're like, you know, this is the truth. We have to face this sort of thing. And I really enjoyed this transition of just this membership of this traveling group. I mean, sure, it's slow movie. The humor is not that amazing in the sense where it's just like cracks you up all the time. But I enjoy Bruce's character, Woody Grant. Sometimes the fact that he acts so much like a senior. That, I mean, I get why they nominated him for Best Actor, but at the same time, I mean, isn't he just playing himself or a version of his future self anyway? I mean, Bruce is not that young. I mean, he is 77, so he's pretty much playing himself, but crazier, in a sense, maybe. And I might be wrong, but I'm just saying that, like, was surprising that he got nominated for Best Actor actor I would say I would totally change that up with Joe and Phoenix from her for sure but anyway let's go beyond the Oscars so yeah um, overall there's nothing much to just point out to say that I dislike maybe the pacing there were some issues maybe some subplots that could have been tightened up and I would say that's the biggest issue that sometimes it feels like where's this going and 
it, it just drags and I'm like, I, I'm not interested in this new subplot here. Can we go back to the main plot or, or some other interesting subplots? Like the best subplots for me was the whole extended family thing and they were jealous and then they had this argument and June had this amazing confrontation and that's what I enjoyed and like I said I enjoyed the family factor and I just wish Saul Goodman had more lines just to show up more because you know Saul just helped out you know Breaking Bad sort of thing so why not give him some more lines because people would know who he is anyway so yeah, Nebraska is a feel-good movie about, you know, accepting life and just how it goes and it's just like a family thing. Though, it's, it's just like this frustration with this senior guy. And then, I worked with seniors before, so I'm more, I guess, attuned to this. And I'm not, like, that jaded from them. And I'm like, yeah, that's what they are like and you live with it. And yeah, so basically, Nebraska was an interesting watch. Um, I'm, I'm happy that it got nominated for what it was nominated for. Uh, it was just like... Like I keep saying, this year has been some crazy nominations. Like, everything has been some intense stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much my review for Nebraska. Leave a comment. We'll discuss the movie or whatever. And that's pretty much it. So, movie review done for Nebraska. Goodbye. <laughs>